Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today, we're gonna make belly bands and pockets out of scraps, okay? Most of them are gonna be just the way they are. And I wanted to show you also, the only thing I did on these two right here is I sized them down, one to fit in one bee journal and one to fit in the other bee journal. And I had to cut the one because the one bee journal, the pocket files are shorter. So I just cut a little bit off, okay? But I left everything else the way it was. And I wanted to show you. When you use up all your cardstock that is left over from your books, you'll have this back and the front left over. So we're using the back to glue on our, our different shaped scraps. Okay, beautiful beings? So don't throw it away. You can use it to make it a stronger pocket and glue down your shapes. But this scrap is just the way it was. I left it completely the way it was. Okay? I didn't do nothing to it. And that's going to be a pocket. And it's going to stay that shape. So I glued it onto here. And this one's a little harder to see because it's yellow. Let's put it this way. This scrap is just the way it was after I cut everything out. I left it and it's going to be a pocket and it's going to stay just the way it was okay so you don't have to keep worrying about scraps if they're big enough use them as a pocket and just leave them just the way they are and you'll have your own unique looking pocket and this one after i used up all the card stock i needed this was left over so this is going to be a pocket too and i glued it on a a brownie batter <laughs> okay and this one, this is a scrap, but I want to design it a little bit. I got these scissors from Better Office Products, okay? And I'm just going to take it and design the top and the bottom. Easy peasy. I think I want it to go that way. So I'm going to turn it around. And you can get these scissors... Joann's, you can get them at Hobby Lobby, Michael's, okay? You can get them on the internet. Just look up scissors designs or craft scissors decorative edge, <laughs> something like that. And then I'm going to take an envelope. I'm going to glue it completely shut, okay? Then I'm going to glue that down on there, and I'm not going to do that on, on film because I don't people don't need to see me glue <laughs> you all have common sense this one right this is scrap and I like it the way it is but I'm just gonna alter this one a little bit so I'm gonna cut around the red flower without hurting it and I'm just gonna come in give that flower just a little bit of shape going around the flower like so and then I'm gonna go around a circle and then I'm gonna go over to here see if I like it I don't really like it so I might just go up a little bit I don't like that point right there just a little bit and then go out okay there's a pocket right there. You can alter it any way you want. Then I'm going to take this envelope. Let's flip that over. <laughs> so I'm going to glue this down here, but I'm going to wait because I know what I can do. We'll do that right now. Cut this off just like that. I'm going to take the envelope. I'm going to glue it together. Then I'm going to figure out what we're going to put in here. I didn't even have a picture of a bee, but this wasn't meant for the bee journal anyway. But that would be cute if I had a picture of a bee. But we'll figure out a picture to put in there. I'll be back after I figure everything out and glue it down. Okay, beautiful beings. I wanted to show you on this one. I did the design on the top of the white too. And I'm going to do it on the bottom. And if you don't have these scissors... You can make your own like waiver design. Just go in and out with whatever design you can create with your scissors. Okay. 
I think that's even, but that's what that one looks like. And it's a pocket and I'm not going to decorate it until I figure out which journal I'm going to put it in. Okay. But there you go. Pocket from scrap, a big pocket. <laughs> and then I wanted to show you these. I went around them with paint because they're going in my B journal. So I just put black because it already had white. So I just put black and yellow around it. And I did the same thing to this one. I put yellow and black around this one, right? And it's going to go into B journal too. Then I wanted to show you because we glued our pocket to the brownie batter cardboard. I just went around this one with yellow paint, but I had a scrap left over and this has been floating around for a while. So I just made a pocket. You can put it on the left corner, make it a corner pocket. You can make it a right po corner pocket. You can make it a right top corner pocket, or you can make it a left top corner pocket. Okay. And I just went around it with some pink paint and I'm not going to decorate this one until I figure out when I'm going to use this in both of these later in the year. Okay. So I have these left over and I'll just use these for my <laughs> die cuts. All right. So we got went over that, went over this and these, I took white paint and went around them. I just think it finishes them, but we are going to decorate these and these cause these are for the bees journals. Okay. Then I want to show you, this is from our, what is it? Park Lane Bees. Remember that book I showed you in a previous video? I found, I found short ones. These ones are too long, that circle, but I found short ones, beautiful things. So I cut this one out so it's perfect. So I can put it in my bee journal because I need lots of pockets because <laughs> I'm working on two journals. Okay, I glued this envelope together and we're going to glue this like that in the back of that and glue it to this and then we're going to cut it out after it dries. And I did go around the edges with Distress Oxide Bundled Stage, okay? Just went around the edges and put that on there so they looked finished. And I put it in a circle too and I was very careful because I didn't want to rip this. Okay, so we're going to glue that down. Right now, I'm going to make sure I stay right there so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, we're going to move this, take this, and I'm just going to do this for now. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. You can use Elena's, whatever glue you have, but I'm just going to put a little bit. Make sure you don't put too much so it smears into the circle when you glue the thing on. You don't want that because it will get on your picture that you're putting down. I'm going to take this and I'm going to line it up as close as I can get and then I'm going to flip it over and I did get glue in there. All right. And then we're going to take a napkin. Where's my napkin? I don't even have a napkin. I have one under my coffee. <laughs> We'll use that one and I'm going to try to wipe that glue out. Then if you want, you can go around this area or something too. But we just want to make sure it's glued down right and then we can flip it over and do the other side. Just making sure you can see good. And I did get some on the table. So we'll flip this over and then we'll continue from there. You just put glue in where needed. You don't really have to worry about too much because you're going to be gluing this down anyway. But you do want your picture centered. I'm just making sure the edges are glued down good. There. Now we're going to take some bodge bodge. And we're just going to put it all over this. 
Zoom it back out. I'm going to take this and we're going to glue it down on our envelope. Make sure everything's inside the envelope. The paint's just there to hide the address, beautiful things. You probably know that. <laughs> you probably figured that out because you're brilliant. There. Once we got all the glue off the edges, so we don't get it on our fingers, when we go to flatness and put it back on the cardstock. I'm just gonna do this so there's no bubbles. And I didn't use a marker because sometimes when you use marker to go around things, it smears when you put the Mod Podge on. So I just used ink. But you can use paint, you can use whatever you want. Everything is glued down nicely. Okay. And when this is dry, we're going to take our pockets and we're going to start decorating them. There's that. Be you. It's not too straight, but it doesn't matter. You get the point. <laughs> okay, beautiful beings. And if you want, like I said, I might go around that with something. I was thinking the Thule. <laughs> Or not Tuli, Tulip. Should we try it? I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it so that dries with that. I'm just going to... Maybe we should use orange. Let's use the orange one. Let's use a different one. Let's use... Let's use Crafter Square Glitter Glue and see how that looks. Get a little orange in there. So I'm going to very carefully... Just go around the edges. Let's start down here. All the way around. That looks good. That looks good, beautiful beings. Then, if you wanted to, you keep going and just put a little bit of this in the middle, make that sparkle, and add a texture. go and I'll be back when this is dry okay beautiful beings I want to show you what I did I took a marker and I very lightly went in the leaves with green then I took some tulip glitter and very gently and carefully went over it because it gives it a dimension of color and a dimension okay it's not dry yet but I want to show you real quick on the little one. And I used a different color. I might use that color on that one and that green on that color. But I'm going to try to zoom in. Right there. And I'll try not to move this. Keep it right there. And I'm going to show you what I did. Okay. I put the marker down as lightly as I could. And as careful. Then I just took to my the tulip glitter. And I only squeezed a tiny bit so a tiny bit would come out. And I went around the edges. Okay. So we'll see how it's starting to turn green already. I was thinking maybe the other green was left on there, but it's not. Because it looks like that color green. Anyway, let's take this around the edges. And 
Now what you do, all you do is you don't squeeze none out. You just swipe it up to where the other green or wherever you put your color is. Swipe it down. Swipe it up. I guess it is a different color. I have to put more here. Kind of look the same to me, but now that it's coloring, it looks different. Okay, and that's about it. That's all you do. Okay, beautiful things. That's it. Okay, and I don't know what I'm going to do with the flowers. I don't know what color I want to make the flowers. I don't know. So I'm going to let that dry and then decide if I'm going to do the flowers. Okay, beautiful beings. Here's a scrap piece left over from our scraps that we made a pocket out of. Okay. Just put a marker down. I used some gel pen in this one. And on the yellow flowers and on the bee. <laughs> And then I went over it with the tulip glitter. This marker was too dark and I shouldn't have put so much in it because you can push it along as you're doing it. And here's some of the tulip, tulip glitter and glitter pen, glitter pen, orange and black. A little bit of tulip, tulip, tulip glitter. <laughs> okay. I think it turned out for scrap. We think beautiful beings. Nice big pocket. Okay. All right now on this one, as you can see, this has a gloss on it. This embellishment. See the gloss. There's a gloss on it. There you go. See it? There's a gloss on it. So what I did was take a marker and then pushed it with my finger. Because all you need is a dab. There's a piece I need to do on the green. Like, it's hard to do. <laughs> I'm trying to show you. I just dabbed it like that. Then I pushed the green in. Just like a watercolor, kind of. Okay? Just a dab pushed it in. I was trying to be very careful. So now what I want to do is take some yellow, a yellow marker, and put some on the flowers. Just a dab here and there. Because we're going to push it. to put orange too but this marker it's supposed to be yellow and it's old it's turning up it's turning it turned orange basically all right i have to look under the camera so i'm just taking my finger i'm trying to stay in the lines just very carefully dabbing it just adds a little color because the whole thing was black and white okay so I'm just pushing that color in with my finger. Okay, and as you can see, it goes outside the lines right there. That's okay. I got some orange. I'm going to put in there. I don't know if it's going to be any. Yeah, it's a darker orange. A burgundy, a dark burgundy, and did the pot. I just pushed, I put some here and there, and then I pushed it around my finger, and then I just did a little brown in there. Okay, beautiful beans. <laughs> I hope you've seen that. I'm gonna have to check that. Okay, but this one's done. I want to show you this. It turned out very beautiful, and I went around it 
with more ink and I like it I love it I think it's cute and now I can put it in my bee journal be you beautiful beings be you <laughs> okay <clears throat> so we're gonna take this this is a scrap too that we're turning into a pocket and I want to keep it straight with this edge because it's going to be a left hand middle pocket okay so I want to keep that straight like that so I don't forget and you know put the pot this way or something so we're going to take some Alana's glue I'm going to glue that down and this is the only leaf I could come up with that kind of look like that but I'm just going to tuck it behind the saying make sure that pot's straight and the word's going to fit before I glue this down. I have this word. That's good. Pots straight with line. This line. Turn a little bit more. And I don't know if that's going to be... Nope. I was thinking if that was going to be tucked under there, but I'm just going to have it up there, so I'm going to push it down. Hopefully the marker's dry. <laughs> And I'm checking to make sure that pot goes with that line so it doesn't look all wonky or you know maybe don't fit well then I got these these are I cut out they're from Joann's it's double-sided cardstock and it's just it's you can buy these separate individually and I think they're 79 cents it might have went up for 69 cents you can buy the cardstock individually and it just had a sheet of a whole bunch of different gardening stuff on it boots shovels all kinds of stuff so i got it because i'm like those i can cut those out and make great embellishments with them and that's what i've been using the sheet with but i can't find the sheet all i did was find these in my scrap bin or i'd show you the sheet okay beautiful beings and then we're gonna glue these down very carefully because <laughs> I went around with marker and I don't want it to smear so I'm gonna try to put just a tiny bit of glue and then just set it there and then wait till it starts getting tacky and this leaf this leaf is from a die cut I just put some I think it was gold paint I painted a piece of just a piece of regular scrap paper it might have even been paper copy paper and then I put my die cut on it so I had a unique leaf cut it out whoops sorry cut it out and then sorry <laughs> then went with a black gel pen and made things and this is like if you ever coffee stained paper and sometimes it falls apart that's what that's from so I just took the pieces that fell off not many did and then I took or I took the ones that were all crinkled up too and I just stamp and I just stamp stamps on them okay little sayings of stamps on them but I want to reshape this so we're going to tear some off and put my thumb here on the word so we don't rip the word saying all the way around like that and we're gonna put that there and we're gonna put the leaf behind it I'm just gonna have it peeking out like that so I want it about there I just want the leaf peeking out and there we go it's safe now beautiful beings the markers not gonna ooze out not all markers ooze out when they get wet but some do, so I'm just cautious about that. And there you have it. Live with intent, beautiful beings. And that's our other pocket from scrap. Leftover scraps. Love big leftover scraps. Okay, now I got this one. I got these from Dollar Tree labels. Okay. This is a long time ago. <laughs> I, I didn't do them all. I only did these pages. But I took my stamps and just stamped different stamps that would fit in them 
on there so I could use them for embellishments okay and we're going to be using this one life does not have to be perfect to be wonderful okay and I got this vibrant yellow and I thought it looked good on the black this other one that we made out of scrap leftover scrap big enough for a pocket so I want to take this out so I'm going to very very carefully not to rip it take this out and then as you see here that's where the glue remember when I was gluing glue got stuck to the paper so I kind of want that right there to cover that and then I'm gonna take another one right here and just look like you know it fell out and it's on the ground or table or sun porch <laughs> wherever it fell <laughs> wherever you have the plant all right now I'm gonna take this sticker and I like it. it's black cause it's gonna blend right in and I kind of want it up here and it doesn't matter if it's crooked and we have another pocket beautiful beings give it a close-up I think it looks cute that's why it's good to get stickers especially from Dollar Tree I don't think you can get them anywhere else cheaper unless you go to Walmart and or clearance or something or you might be able to online, but I don't like shopping online very much. Only if I find things that I can't find, you know. I like, I like, you know, going in the store and looking and trying to find stuff on clearance and all that good stuff. Okay, beautiful beings. These are going to be really simple, okay? I went around with white paint. I think I showed you that. I should have checked the video, huh? <laughs> but I'm just going to take some glue and go straight up. Let that get tacky. And I'm going to do the same thing to this one. I should have measured that yellow because it doesn't look like it's the same length. <sighs> I should have measured that yellow ribbon. Oh, it is. Okay, I did. <laughs> I had two of the grandkids here last night, and that was right in the middle of, you know, making this. So this is the next day from the other part of the video. So I kind of was distracted. A good, a good distract, distraction. I'm sure I say it right. A good distraction, beautiful beings. All right, I'm just going to let the paint show. So I'm just tucking it right up to it, but enough to let it show with our nice yellow trim. All right. Uh-oh. Now we're going to put this one on. This one is like really frayed. I did it too quick, so I slowed it down so you see the little fuzzies. So I'm just going to, and it's white, so hopefully I do this quick enough. Now it looks way better. Okay. We're going to put that down. I don't know if I should do it. Yeah, let's do it that way. Let's do it that way. I'll turn it this way so I can get the whole thing in so you can see. I'm just going to, that, I'm going to leave that out a little bit. Okay. And we'll make this a right hand tuck so they don't tuck in this side and I don't know, it probably won't come up, but... So it don't get all fuzzy again. Well, what's a good name for that? <sighs> we'll make our own word for that. We won't get ribbon hairs? <laughs> How's that? We won't get ribbon hairs. <laughs> all right, now I'm going to take this and put that up there. Sometimes I overthink things. I think I just do it to entertain myself. Explore. I don't know. 
But I hope it's entertaining. <laughs> Alright. This one's longer, so I'm going to have to pull this up. There. Down there about even. Get you the end without getting glue on the other side. Just trying to tap it. Tap it in there so it'll set nicely. Let's see if it's straight and even. This one's not right there. Big deal, but good enough. I don't want to ruin it, so I'm going to leave it. <laughs> this one's going to be tricky because this doesn't like to work with me. See, it twists and turns. So I think I'm just going to do a little bit at a time and I'll fast forward this. They're beautiful beings. After all that, I decided it was just easier to put it on the stem part going up from the leaves. Okay, so we didn't have to worry about all that glue <laughs> on the leaves getting on other stuff. So there you go. You got a belly band that could be on the left or the right, and I put them on both on the same side, but that's all right. It's fine. I could still put this one because this one won't affect the leaves. Okay. So this is what we got, beautiful beings. Make sure you can see everything. And they're gonna give me a close-up of them. And these ones I went in with a Thule. Tulip. Why do I keep saying Tule? Tulip glitter. <laughs> I did it on both of them. And it's all I did on these. And it made the flowers pop. Okay. Just put it here and there. And then we also made these out of scrap for a pocket, but We'll decorate these later in the year when I use them. Okay, beautiful beans. But all the other ones, all these ones are for my bee, bee, both my bee journals. Okay. Thanks for watching. I hope I inspired you. Go have fun. Have a wonderful everything.